Hi, welcome to our math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on finance equations and specifically on annuities. So this problem is fun and you don't know, never trust a teacher when they say fun or interesting. Um, that means usually translates to more work. Okay, so Tiffany gets a new job at the age of 25. Knowing that she, um, saving for her future is important, she decides to put $45 of each of her weekly checks into an account that pays 4.5% compounded weekly. Whew. After 10 years, she moves to a new city and gets a new job. That's pretty common. She plans to roll over her first job's retirement into her new job's fund. That's really, really common. She also plans to continue to add money. Good, good plan. She will be putting in $325 per month and her work matches the first 125. Awesome. The new job retirement pays 7.25% compounded monthly. If she retires 30 years after starting her new job, how much will she have in her retirement fund? So this, I like this question because it's, it's pretty realistic. You switch jobs and when you switch jobs, you roll over your annuity. That's, that's how it works. You roll over your retirement. Okay, so we'll start off with her first job. Let's see, her first job, she got it when she was 25 and she had it for 10 years. She put $45 in weekly. So this is an annuity. My annuity formula is A equals R. One plus R over M to the MT minus one, all divided by R over M. There is a way where you have R over M replaced by the variable I and MT replaced by the variable N. I sometimes use that. I think this is a nice one and done way to do it. Let's see. R, what is she putting away? $45. What is the rate? It's over here. It's 0 0.045. M, how often is it? That's weekly. There are 52 weeks in a year. And how many years? That's 10 years. Okay, so we now can fill all of this in. $45. 1 plus 0 0.045. 52 times a year, so we apply it 52 times for 10 years, and then divide by that as well. And when we calculate this out, we find out that after 10 years in her retirement fund, she has now earned $29,530. And grew her money. Okay, so this is her first job. How much will she and her job be investing in her retirement in the new job? Okay, so this is her second job. So in her second job, she's putting in 325 and her work matches the first 125. So we take the 325, we add the 125 that her work is adding in, and we find out that together they're putting in $450 per month which is really nice okay so this is her new job how much will she make with her and her new employers monthly investment so again we're going to be using the same formula but now her periodic payment is 450 which is going to be a nice increase the rate at the new job is 7.5 so 0 0.0725. The number of times that it's compounded is monthly. So now we're going to, M is going to be 12. And the number of years, we're putting time at 30 years. So for this one, A is going to equal 450. 1 plus 0 0.0725 divided by 12 to the 12 times 30 minus one divided by 0 0.075 divided by 12. When we throw this newer calculator, make sure you practice putting these into your calculator. The biggest mistake I see is it's really hard to manage all of these parentheses and these exponents. So we throw all of this into our calculator and we find out that the annuity in her second job brings her total at the second job putting in more money for more years, um, $576,851.98, which is awesome.
Okay. Then we want to figure out her rollover because we're talking about, we want to find out how much money she has at retirement. So this is the annuity that she has, but she's going to roll over this $29,000. So this was an annuity because she was putting $45 away each week. This is an annuity because she's putting $450 away each month. This rollover is not an annuity. This rollover is a lump sum, one and done. She is putting this $29,536.37 into the account and letting it sit for 30 years. She's adding to it, but this part of it is just sitting for those 30 years. It is a lump sum, and if it is a lump sum, that means we're gonna use a equals P, one plus R over M to the MT. So we say A equals $29,536.37 times one plus 0 0.72, uh, 0 0.0725, cause it's still the same account as this one. So it's still this 7.25% monthly for 30 years, and we find out after 30 years, that money, this just under $30, this lump sum that she just dumped in there and left for 30 years, 30,000 for 30 years, grew to be $258,288.82. And so her account has both of these pieces in it, so if we want to know what her final amount is, we need to take the $576,851.98. We need to add the $258,288.82 to find out that when she retires, she has in her account $835. Sorry, $835,140.80. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.